but he wants to give me more loving at like 12 a.m. and I'm like, ah, scrap. I'm tired. No, I want a, I want no, another baby. No. How about you the things? Maybe you not understand what the L be saying. It was cold as fuck. <laughs> and don't do it a crazy bitch. I mean, you hi guys. Hi guys. We're YouTubers. Hi everybody. So I made a video yesterday saying that we were gonna do a Q and A. So here is the Q and A. You guys ask us questions, obviously, and we're going to answer them. That's what Q and A stands for. Okay, so let's get into this. So on Instagram, uh, we got a question from underscore light skin Lou. What up, light skin Lou? <laughs> and she asked three questions. The first question, what you want to read it? Good. Okay. How is it trying to balance being a mom plus being a wife to your husband? By the way, I'm looking down because I wrote it down. Plus being a wife to your husband and making quality time for both, even for yourself. Honestly, it gets a little overwhelming sometimes. You guys see our daily lives throughout the day. I'm cleaning. I'm trying to spend time with my polka bears. Then he gets crazy. I gotta put him to take a naps. And then I have to deal with the whole, you know, my my older eldest son behaving bad in school. And then my hus husband comes home and I have to show him love as well. Like I said, it gets, it gets kind of overwhelming. Hey, I don't get them as well, but... Yeah, by the time he comes home, it's like, I'm tired. Like, as toddlers, you guys know, dads and mothers out there, toddlers drain you. Especially if you're a stay-at-home mom and you're with them literally all day, every day, they drain you. So, I try to give my, my daddy some loving. But he wants to give me more loving at like 12 a.m. And I'm like, ah, scrap. I'm tired. I don't know if the question was for me too. I, I just make it happen. Sometimes I get up early. Four or five in the morning. I have several things to do at work, college, trying to make a better life for myself and my family. I get tired. I just, I just make it happen. I've been doing this for a long time. I have a vision of where I want to be in the future, and I'm just uh, driving towards that goal. How about like spending quality time with me and for yourself? I don't even think I answer that. I honestly don't. Like the time for myself is literally at night when I'm editing. Like that's my me time when it's quiet and sometimes I tend to stay up really late because it's hectic all day every day. So like that's my quiet time. And sometimes I regret it the next morning, but. I just, I mean, I gotta take it sometime. I, I go to the movie by myself and watch a movie. My me time might be going to the gym. So when I get home, I got, one kid on one on one leg and the other kid on the other and then the dog and then my wife so when i come home from work it, it doesn't stop it just continues it's a different uniform but it's always a different motion i noticed you uh spread on some brand new ed hardy perfume it smells so good. you can't Thank smell you. you through the camera well you can we have to spend quality time after this and i am sweating i got work to do okay that was a long answer it was. What's the longest Des has been away from home? Oh boy, don't hug me, I am sweating. I'm 30 days, right? 30 days. We haven't been through a deployment yet, crossing our fingers that he can go these next, what, six years, seven years without one? Let's just hope. She also <laughs> asked a very personal question, because I did say to you guys, ask any questions, and she said, who likes to have sex more? You or Desmond? I think that was a good question. Um, I honestly say, was like, oh, I don't know what you're putting there because that's all personal life. But it, it is, I mean, it's, we're so, adults. It's so boring. Well, you know I'm not boring. <laughs> the answer to that question is probably going to be me. Of course, the guys are always horny and trying to get some, and wife is usually saying no. It's because I'm tired. It, it's like ever since I became a mom, it's like, oh, jeez. I mean, I, I love it. Like, once it's done, I'm like, we have to do it more. But then it's like, I'm drained. And I know he works and stuff, but like, shit. Toddlers. Just hashtag toddlers. Before Jericho was a toddler, I think we did pretty good. But now it's like, toddlers. That shit has I haven't down. slept in two years. That shit has slowed down abruptly. Yes. But I still give it to you. How about you the things? <laughs> so Chris Supreme, aka Crystal on Instagram, says
said, do you feel isolated living in Alaska? How did you deal with that transition? You can go first. That was towards me. I live here. I work here. I'm good. I've been doing this army thing since uh, 2002. I, so I, I've been, I'm accustomed to- He's used to it. I'm accustomed to being away from home. It doesn't bother me. And then with my mother and grandma and family came up here to visit, that really just, you know, made it a lot easier. I feel like the complete opposite just because my family hasn't came to visit. Mm. Hashtag subliminal, hashtag indirect. No, but I mean, I understand the plane tickets are expensive and all that stuff, but it's just like, uh, I, I get anxiety, honestly. There's times where I do and I have to just chill the hell out. I think a lot about like, damn, I'm really far from family. And like, for instance, the other day I had something like some drama going on that I don't need in my life. And like, I had my sister and I was talking to her through FaceTime. I'm like, damn, but this is like the time where I just want girl time, like FaceTime is cool for a while but then it's like <sighs> i mean i'm dealing with it by the way if you hear screams it's because it's the next door neighbor's daughter screaming that was her it does get a little lonely because i mean i'm not doing nothing it's not like I, i'm keeping my i mean jericho keeps me occupied but it's like i'm home in like a box 24 7 even when i do go out it's like where am I going? I'm just walking around the neighborhood. It's not like I could walk to my family's house. This was my first PCS move. I moved to Virginia for Desmond before Jericho, but we could drive to my family's house. Like we would go like what, every three months. And now I'm probably, like this year, I'm probably gonna see my family once. But it's hard, but we have to deal with it. These questions that we're about to answer right now and that I'm about to read are like, basically like the top questions that everybody has been asking. So what is, do you want another baby? Hell, I want a, I no, want another baby. No. Not right now. Probably no. like in four years, hopefully. Fuck that. Fuck that. No. Mm -hmm. I, I, you know, if, maybe she's correct. Um, at, at this time, I, I don't feel like uh, it'll be beneficial. I feel like once Jericho is like at the age where we can have him in daycare, hopefully we're at a good place when we go, um, when we leave Alaska, which is in a year and a half, jeez. Um, and you know, by then he'll be in daycare and I can focus finally on myself. And like, that's what I want to do. That's my goal. I want to focus on myself, have Jericho doing his thing in a daycare. And, and then hopefully once I'm like, I'm good and I'm like on track, then we can have a baby, but you know, God, God is gotta be funny sometimes or he'd be having some other plans, but you know, that's that's what I would like and obviously my husband as well. Um, P.O. Box, they've been asking, when are we gonna get a P.O. Box? When are we gonna get a P.O. Box? We wanna send you and the baby stuff. I guess my wife didn't put it up, so I'll put it up now. Once we hit 5,000 subscribers, which should be in about 87 more people. <laughs> no, not 87, we have like 40 something more. Yeah. Uh, well, I guess in about 40 more people, <laughs> I'll, um, the gift cards will be announced on camera and we will uh, ship those out and we will also get a P.O. box. So Yes, so once we hit 5,000 subscribers, guys. so yeah, it's, like you said, it's up to you guys. I don't even know how the angle was. Tassi Santos. Tassi. Desmond, please tell us all the places you've been stationed at. Which one was your favorite and which one was your least favorite and why? Okay, well, my first duty station was Fort Hood, Texas. I was with the 1st Cavalry Division. That was my first that was my first time away from home. Well, besides college. How old are you? I was a man. I came in the army at 19 years old. I love Texas. I loved it a lot. I traveled every weekend. I hit up Austin. Uh, Galveston, is it Galveston? Galveston, uh, the beach, and Houston. I've had a blast. I hope that my family and I get to live in San Antonio. Uh, so, Fort Hood, that was my first one. I can't say it was my best, but I had a great time. My second deployment, I'm sorry, my second 
duty station was uh, Korea. I was with the 46 transportation unit and that was pretty fun. I They, they thought I was Shaquille O'Neal because I was the tallest little black person they've seen. Little but, black person. Uh, I, I had a good time. All, I, I've been blessed in the military. All my duty stations have been awesome off the subject. Uh, my third one, right after Korea, I went to Germany and I was in uh, Wiesbaden and also Bamberg, Germany. Germany, if you guys never heard about Germany, <laughs> it's awesome. Let's just say he had an amazing time. The they beer's great, girls. the beer's awesome, the scenery is dope. I got to see Paris and Italy and I can't wait to go back. Hopefully my wife and I can um, share that together, but I really had a great time. If I had a choice to live somewhere overseas, I, I, think, I think Germany would be great for us. You, you guys would love it. Uh, moving right along, so after that, I came to Virginia, that's where my son was, and I was uh, at Fort Eustis. I was there for six years. I deployed twice. Five, one, five, nine, warriors. No one's saying warrior pride. Everybody watching. Bam, 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 bam. And then it'll be here. So I was at a six, six uh, a duty stations. So hopefully um, this next one, I think my wife and I are, we, I hope to get Texas, obviously, because we want to live there. Um, but I think I kind of also want Hawaii because, well, it's Hawaii. And we just want to live somewhere nice. Somewhere nice. Um, obviously, me personally, and I'm sure my husband is going to agree, I'm sick of the cold. I just want to chill. I just want to wear, like, tank tops and have AC because Alaska gets hot in the summer, but we don't have AC it down here. It gets warm. It don't get hot. There's time that it was pretty humid. She's in Texas. Uh, also, we're driving to Alaska from Texas in a few months and with the toddler. Where in Alaska? What was the biggest challenge for you guys on your way up here? Oh my goodness. So we came in January, all right? Uh, actually, I'm sorry. Uh, December, de December, right, December. Right after Christmas, right? After Christmas. Yeah, we, like, we left December 27th and we um, spent New Year's in Seattle and we got here January 9th, I believe, or January 8th. Like, yeah, like 8th. I'm, I'm not sure if you watched the previous videos, but we came here and it was snowing. I mean, blizzard. I mean, like, it was snow, it was snowflake like this size <laughs> while we was driving. And people like actually died, they slid off the road. We saw, well, I mean, we didn't see it actually happen, but we passed this like really narrow mountain that had like a, up. Uh, this mountain that had a narrow road and there was a bunch of fire fi um, fighters on the side with police officers and they were looking down a cliff. We had the vlog. Just look at the vlog. Um, so that, that was probably the biggest thing. Uh, the hotels hopping was kind of fun. Yeah. I didn't really like Canada uh, that much. It was hard finding hotels. The pizza was good. Oh, it was so good. Pizza was great. And, and the gyros. And the gyros. And, and the scenery was great. I know that if we ever went through there, um, but while it was summertime, it'd be awesome. Beautiful. The, the beginning of Canada, like British Columbia, is awesome. But once you get to like the Yukon, oh my goodness, which is closer to Alaska, it's like number one. When we went, it was freezing. I don't know when you're coming, but hopefully it's not snowing. It was freezing. Like our car, we were driving for hours. Our car was warm, and the second we got to a certain area, like the inside of our car was freezing. Like you can actually see the windows freezing. And then we had to stop and like get the blankets from the back because it was cold. And we had like the Ecuadorian blankets. I know Filipinos have these type of blankets too. They're like the fur ones. We had to wrap Jericho up and oh, it was a headache. Just that. And then like the hotels in Canada. Maybe you not understand what the L be saying. It was cold as fuck. It was cold. And we in the car and like, no, like seriously, I, I, did we vlog that? Oh, no. just, just imagine I think you're, my phone was frozen. you're in a vehicle, <laughs> right? And you're driving, so obviously your water temperature gauge is you know, pretty fucking high. This shit just kept, it just kept going down. And Desmond's car is new, and you could hear poor little baby was she, like, she was she, suffering. She didn't like it. But we made it, thank the Lord, because once you're in the Yukon area, you guys, like, it's like mountains for hours. And it's like no signal, so who the F are you gonna call, especially in the winter? Anyways, but we're not even answering the question. But the yeah, biggest challenge was that. That was, that it. was, was it. cold. And then also the hotels, like there's a lot of hotels that don't accept pets. I'm gonna be keeping it real. Sometimes we had to like sneak Casey in to certain like hotels because one, there was hotels that wouldn't accept dogs, and then the other one was that they would 
Except dog would charge you a huge amount and we're like 50. Yeah, we're like, eh, hey, to the no. We would put her like in a blanket. Yeah. As far as like driving with a toddler, um, Texas to Alaska, I mean it's gonna be long, but it's not longer than Virginia to Alaska. But traveling with a toddler, I can't even imagine traveling with Jericho. I don't know how your toddler is, but Jericho crazy. I really suggest that one, make sure you have um you buy like one of those tanks with gas and have an extra, you know, have it in your back on uh, the back seat of the car because once you're in Canada um, the gas stations are really far from each other so have that what else uh, five hundred dollars in cash um, is it cash or the other money no it's cash we did cash yeah and then they would give us back Canadian money Google like you know the difference between Canadian money because some of the people will probably try to jip you and try to like give you less than what you are supposed to get call your bank even though Desmond called and said that we were traveling and they still locked one of his credit cards but make sure you call and bother them like make sure they know that you're traveling for your credit cards because yeah, they consider Canada uh, out of the country well and, obviously it's another country right yeah I know right. So, so just say that you're traveling into Canada with the toddler make sure you have a bunch of snacks for your to or just fit a bunch of snacks for your toddler a bunch of toys like anything that you know that your toddler you know will love Jericho like slept throughout the whole time he was nine months at the time and we had music that he liked so he was cool so I really wish you guys good luck driving up here Shemaine 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 Holmes uh, my boyfriend and I are 24 we both want to get married this year any advice on getting married so young 24 I'm Hell gonna be 24 no. oh it just depends on what type of you know people you guys are because as far as me i when i was with when i forgot with desmond i say this a lot on the vlog but for those of you who are new subscribers i came from my mom's house and never lived by myself ever in my life and then went straight to desmond's house and i didn't know shit um as far as like cooking laundry i did not know shit at all like i learned everything with desmond so if you guys are independent and you guys uh, communicate well. Communication is key. Listening. I suck at listening to sometimes. I'm a selective listener. All the time. So I'm working on that. So if you're a selective listener, work on that as well. What do you have? Like, what would you say if you got Hell married? No. If you got married young? No. And I, I'll tell you the grown up version. Compromise. Compromise. Oh, yeah, that's another. Yeah, that's another thing. Sorry. I knew I had that in my mind, but it's just like, like I ain't really Compromise and communication. Some people say love, you gotta have love, you gotta have patience. If you can communicate with your significant other, you can accomplish anything. Yeah. So in the beginning, we were trying to figure each other out. Like Desmond was like, you know, I was a hot girl. He liked me for a while. And then once like we started living together, he's like, oh, she showed how to call us. But so he definitely compromised because I ended up getting pregnant. And we ended up getting married and he's like, you know what? This is my family and he has compromised a lot. I am understanding, trying to understand obviously his age as well. But you guys are both, you know, 24. And if you guys are living together already, it's like, shit, marriage is not really gonna change anything. It's just a paper. And if you guys know each other already, it's, and you guys compromise and listen to each other and what was the other one? Communicate. My wife talks a lot. I do. Have I'm a fun. Girl. Enjoy yourself and enjoy each other. You can see yourself in 10 years being with him. I mean, or vice versa. Go with it. Go with it. It's all about having fun. Um, I, I can't be miserable. Life is very, very too short for all that. One suggestion. I don't know if you guys have kids. I love my kids. Do not get me wrong. But I feel like just try to enjoy each other as much as you can before you have babies so that once you have babies you're like damn we did a lot before we had kids because me and des we were dating for eight months and we found that we were pregnant and it's like we did not really do anything and now it's like we are two years in with jericho and we have not we think we had one date night together by ourselves everything else has been with jericho which now it's like now that he's a toddler before he was cool but now that he's a toddler it's like oh we can't take him anywhere because he likes to run around and scream which is obviously what toddlers do but we we don't really have time for ourselves yeah travel enjoy each other that's the last question mm -mm. Read, read some more okay okay desmond wants to read more i think my my phone died honey i have one percent so let's see what i can get 
How, how does your phone die in the house? Does, does, does that happen to anybody else? You guys have no idea. <laughs> he always complains to you me. You have no that. idea. That's why I, I, I must have my own channel so you guys can feel my pain. What pain? I'll give you some pain. Exactly. What made you choose the army over other branches, says Leonard Brown. Leonard, what's up, B? Um, well, let me tell you first, I was not going to be a freaking Marine. All right, they were just a little too hardcore for me. And I was going to go into the Air Force, but they were closed that day. So I joined the Army. <laughs> really seriously. And um, my, my, uh, my, grandfather, my grandfather was in the military, uh, in the Army, uh, CW4. So it, it's actually been a great, a great decision for me. And I would definitely do it again. If I would have known better, I would probably would have came in earlier, like as soon as I graduated high school, or I would have finished college and came in as an officer. So. Okay, let's see. Where are all my homies at, though? I, I mean, I, I, I understand, like, you know, the vlog is for females, but like, so I need my own channel. Homies, let me know. Comment below if we need an old man channel. They have been happen. saying they want you to have a man channel. You just haven't been doing it. Uh, I've been making videos and somebody hasn't been editing them. Um, so Olivia Johnson said, has Desmond ever cheated on you? Oh, Jay, hell no. <laughs> and if so, how did you get over it? No, no. First of all, now, the thing I don't like about doing videos with my wife is I'm not allowed to say what the fuck I be want to say. All right? Ooh. I watch porn. All right? Not to brag, but I mean, I'm, I'm uh, 34. I'll be 30 40 this year. I did a lot of fucking. All right? I'm just saying. I'm sorry. So that's that stuff is behind me, um, honestly. And my wife is enough woman. Ugh, trust me. She's enough. She's enough. No, I don't I, I don't. It's do too. I feel like cheating is too, like... Too too much to handle, especially if you're in a marriage. You could do it. Um, maybe if I would have been married younger, uh, probably. But I was said, I just I've, I've got a lot now. I've got a lot. Of, yeah. Guys, I'm sorry, and I I say this because I watch a lot of like Lifetime movies. Like, what's that movie with uh? Is it Douglas something? No, it's not him. Uh, the guy I think is the guy from um. Uh, Five. The hockey movie, the Ducks, Mighty Ducks, that guy. Oh, I don't know if it's wow. him. Anyways, uh, I forgot what the movie's called. Amelio Estevez. Yes, what's that movie that that the blonde white lady gets crazy over him and like he had sex with her that one time and then he left her because he wanted to stay with his wife? Uh, Fatal Attraction. That shit is scary. Maybe that's not him. Oh, well, I thought it was him. Anyways. Uh, that's, Fatal, Mike, that's Michael Douglas. That's said Douglas. I know oh, it was. Okay. I, I get confused with them sometimes. I if I was a guy, like, and I was horny and wanted to cheat, like, you gotta be smart with it. You gotta be smart if you want to. I'm not condoning cheating, but I'm just saying, like, jeez, like, don't do it, a crazy bitch. But that shit is scary. Do not cheat. Like, don't. That's uh, that's just not. Don't. No. Watch porn, you guys. Get like one of those uh, butts that I've been seeing on YouTube and Instagram a lot. It's like a butt that shakes. I'm thinking three hundred dollars. Oh well, do you? You? I'd rather pay three hundred dollars than ruin my marriage and ruin like the life of my children. And that's just me because I'm a girl. That thing, three hundred dollars. I'm gonna get y'all one of those. Please comment below if you guys have any more questions and if you guys want me to talk about the negative thing that happened to me recently because I want to be real with you guys and I, I, I don't like to sugarcoat shit and if, I mean I do like to sugarcoat shit sometimes but I don't want to sugarcoat shit, I want to be real <laughs> and I want, you guys are my friends and if you don't freaking like me then don't fucking watch my videos even though you're still watching, okay. <laughs> Love you guys, and I'll probably still make that video anyways. Peace out. Thanks Please like this video. Thanks for watching. I have been doing videos. My wife has been a hater and hasn't uploaded them yet. He needs to add on some stuff. Okay? Once I learn how to edit, I will need her, and me, you guys will be good. Thanks for watching. Please Peace. subscribe if you haven't. Peace out. You see, you put a lot of ice on in my wine, and now it's watered down. I do talk a lot.